Level 2 Fitness Instruction Principles of Exercise, Fitness and Health The Effects of Exercise on the Body By the end of this session you will be able to Describe cardiovascular and respiratory adaptations to endurance and aerobic training. Identify the short and long term effects of exercise on blood pressure. Describe the blood pooling effect following exercise. Describe the effects of exercise on bones and joints, including the significance of weight bearing exercise. Describe delayed onset of muscle soreness and identify exercises or techniques likely to increase its risk. Describe the short and long term effects of different types of exercise on muscle and describe different exercises that can improve posture. Cardiovascular and respiratory adaptations to endurance and aerobic training. Exercise is a stimulus which results in adaptations to the following. The heart, the blood vessels and blood chemistry, the lungs, metabolic function, muscular changes and psychological factors. Adaptations to the heart. Increase size of the heart muscle. Increased strength of contraction. Increased stroke volume. Increased cardiac output. Reduced resting heart rate. Increased blood vessel size. And decreased risk of heart disease. Adaptations to blood vessels and blood chemistry. Reduced systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Favourable change in blood lipids. Increased haemoglobin. And increased blood volume. Adaptations to lungs. Increased functional capacity. Increased diffusion of respiratory gases and increased vital capacity. Adaptations to muscles. Increased capillarization of muscles. Increased enzymatic function within muscle cells. Increase in size and number of mitochondria. Improved perception of muscle tone. Other adaptations. Adaptations to muscles. Decreased insulin resistance and improved glucose tolerance. Reduced body fat. Increased maximal O2 uptake. Psychological factors. Improved self mastery. Increased social interaction. Distraction from the daily routine. Decreased depression and anxiety. Effects of exercise on blood pressure. Short term effects. Heavy weight training and isometric exercise will significantly increase both the systolic and the diastolic blood pressure. However, at lesser intensities during exertion, diastolic blood pressure may decrease slightly due to vasodilation. Long-term effects. Over time, aerobic exercise using large muscle groups and rhythmical activity is very effective in reducing both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Blood pooling. During exercise, as the heart rises, there is an increased flow of blood to the muscles. Should the activity stop suddenly, the heart will still continue pumping blood at this elevated rate for some time. 
Since the muscles now will have stopped working, this extra blood will begin to build up or pool in large muscle groups. The legs are most commonly affected due to the extra influence of gravity. Common symptoms could be nausea, dizziness and fainting. Effects of exercise on bones and joints. Short term responses. As soon as you start exercising, there will be an increase in synovial fluid production, lubricating the joints. Long term adaptations. Weight bearing exercise will lead to stronger ligaments, increased bone density, and reduce loss of bone mass associated with aging. Delayed onset of muscle soreness, known as the DOMS. This is the name given to the pain, soreness or stiffness experienced in muscles typically between 12 to 72 hours after exercise. It is particularly common following the beginning of a new exercise program or after increased eccentric loading, or after an increase in intensity. Short and long term effects of different types of exercise on muscle. Resistance training. Resistance training can lead to increased muscular strength, size, power and endurance. Stronger connective tissues, tendons and ligaments. Increased testosterone and growth hormone. Increased metabolic rate. Increased range of motion. Improved posture. Decrease in nervous inhibition. Aerobic exercise. This can lead to an increase in number and size of mitochondria in the muscle fibers. Increased number of capillaries surrounding these fibers. And increased number of aerobic enzymes, stored glycogen and triglycerides in the muscle fibers. Exercises which can improve posture. Modern lifestyles involve sitting for much longer periods of time, sitting and driving. This encourages a round shouldered kyphotic posture. However, there are exercises which can improve posture. Therefore, the instructor should endeavour to include exercises in the resistance training programmes which help compensate for poor posture. A well-balanced exercise programme should include the following. A full range of movement exercises. Compound movement patterns. Freestanding posture. Free weights and cables. An equal number of push and pull exercises dynamic and developmental stretches. Can you now describe cardiovascular and respiratory adaptations to endurance and aerobic training? Identify the short and long term effects of exercise on blood pressure. Describe the blood pooling effect following exercise. Describe the effects of exercise on bones and joints, including the significance of weight-bearing exercise. Describe delayed onset of muscle soreness and identify exercises or techniques likely to increase its risk. Describe the short and long-term effects of different types of exercise on muscle and describe different exercises that can improve posture. For more health and fitness education, visit www.stormfitnessacademy.co.uk